It's doll time! I'm so excited to audition. I love the school play. It's the most magical time of the year. Well, obviously, I'm going to get Cinderella because I'm Cinderella. All right, everyone. I'm really glad to see we've got a really good turnout for today's auditions. And I'm really excited to see what you all have. All right, let's go. I'm Cinderella. Look at me. I'm obviously the prettiest girl of the ball. My stepsisters don't know what they're talking about. I'm so good at dancing. <sighs> the first one is always the worst. All right, great. Thank you. Next. I nailed it. I'm surprised she even needs to audition people after me. No, Cinderella, wait. We just had the most amazing evening and now she's running off. Oh, how I wish I could be with her again. I must find her. I must find her. All right, all right, that was really nice. Okay, next. My step sisters are so mean. I wish I could go to the ball. To the left, to the right, we want to see you fight. To the left, to the right. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. We're doing Cinderella, not the Little Mermaid. Next. Okay, sweep, 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 clean, clean, clean. Ooh, Mr. Spot. Okay, gotta clean it up. <gasps> Stop. Yeah, that that's fine. Uh, next. Oh, and beside that plant. Oh, and over by the curtain. No, you can stop now. This is a school play, not a cleaning session. You guys really need to deep clean this place. <gasps> My shoe! I cannot go back for it. I must leave. That was brilliant. That was great. Really creative. I love how you brought in creative actions from the play. Next. Arr, I'm a pirate. Um. Uh, uh, all right. You um. You've got me lost for words. What do you mean? That was such a good Pirates of the Caribbean impression. Oh, now I get you. Well, yeah, it's Cinderella. Pirates of the Caribbean we did two years ago. We're not doing it again. Oh, no fear! You shall go to the ball, Cinderella. Wow, that was really magical. Next. Okay. Okay, I can't, uh, uh. I can't do this. No! Hmm, nice running away scene. I just wish she spoke more. Oh! <laughs> Oh no, Elsie, what happened? I got stage fright when I was auditioning and I ran away. <laughs> oh, Elsie, I'm sure you'll get the main role. Don't worry. I'm not so sure about that anymore. All right, everyone, that was great. Well done. Some of you were fantastic. Some of you have hidden talents that should stay hidden. All right, I'm going to call you back at 4 p.m. tomorrow and I'll have made my decision on the main roles. Oh my god, I'm really going to get that all. I wish we were the Caribbean. Oh, I'm so nervous. I really want to play Cinderella. I don't think I can fall asleep tonight. Stage fright just gets to me. No, 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 I want to see, I want to see. Oh my goodness, Elsie, what did you get? I got the understudy for Cinderella. Oh, Elsie, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess there's no point in me even taking part in the play. I'll just go build a random tree or something. Did I get anything? I don't know. Check. Oh, let me see who I got. I got the fairy godmother! <gasps> Yay! Oh, I'm happy for you, Ani. Maybe I can build your pumpkin. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I don't feel like sticking around. Oh, Elsie. The stepmother? Come on! My name is literally Cinderella! Alright guys, I need you to all be really familiar with your scripts. So can you please practice those? Oh, yeah, Prince Charming! Oh, my foot ball. size, I don't know! There can be no dust anywhere! strikes 12 and I must leave you although I do not want to wow that was really good 
I wonder why I didn't cast her. Hi guys, my name is Susie McAllister, but you can just call me Susan or Susie. It doesn't matter to me. Anyway, welcome to this year's production of Cinderella. I am your dressmaker, and believe you me, our costumes are going to be fantabulous. Okay, we're going to start with the main woman, Cinderella. Okay, so the best color for you uh, would be blue. And uh, oh my god, wow, I love your dress. Oh my god, so much blue. I mean, okay, sorry. So, okay, I need you and your measurements up top real quick. Should have gone for soccer tryouts instead. Okay, measurement wide, measurement length. Oh, I like your cupcake in your dress. You know, one time I had this most delicious cupcake and it was so yummy. Oh, I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, uh, uh, here, here. Hmm, I think you could do <gasps> ruffles. Wow, Miss Susie sure is excited. Our dressmaker is quite excited. Whoa, where is my measuring tape? They're always taking my measuring tape. These children. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's always getting stuck! Good child! See what I mean? Oh, Ani, but I would love to be in the show! Alright, everyone, well done. I'm so, so proud of you. So, I want everyone to go home, get a really good night's sleep, and come back tomorrow bright and early for a great show. So many people came to see me! No, so many people came to see me. Everyone knows the stepmother is the best character. Okay. Ah! Ah! We have a problem. What's wrong? Come over here. All right. Our main character is sick. Oh no. Can she not just come in for the play? No, she has chicken pox. Gosh, these children are never dedicated to have to get sick on the very day we have a show. Right. I don't know. What? We have another study. Deep rats. What? Psst, psst, psst. Hey, you. Who? Me? Yeah, you. I really need your help. Come on. Okay, I'm coming. All right, Elsie, it's your lucky day. Today's the day that you get to play Cinderella. <laughs> Alright, be quick! Hello everybody and welcome to our beautiful school play of Cinderella. Please make sure to keep quiet during the show and turn off all electrical devices. We will be starting shortly. Thank you. Woo! That's my girl! I... I... Don't worry, Elsie. I believe in you. You can do this. Okay, Paul. Oh my goodness! I just have to finish cleaning and then I can go to the ball and dance with my prince. We are ready. Yes, we are. Oh, my daughters, you look so lovely. Cinderella, clean the kitchen. You will not go to the ball. But, but please, all the maidens in the land are invited. I have to go. Go dust the cinders, Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> My chances of dancing with the prince at the ball are over. I wish I had a fairy godmother. <laughs> she could grant my every wish. Your wish is my command. You shall go to the ball, Cinderella. Wow! <gasps> I love this dress. It's so beautiful. I can go to the ball now. Thank you, fairy godmother. No problem. But remember, when the clock strikes midnight, everything will disappear. So make sure you're back in time. But wait, how will I get there? I have something in mind. Bippy, boppity, boo. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you, fairy godmother. No problem. Now, enjoy. My daughter's doing so well, but the prince doesn't want to dance with them. This is a disaster. What's wrong, my prince? Why aren't you dancing? I met a girl in the forest. She's amazing. I'm waiting for her at the ball. I only want to dance with her. Wait, who's that? I'm so happy to be at the ball. I hope the prince is here. Oh my goodness, that's her. That's the girl I was waiting for. Miss, will you dance with me? Yes, of course. I'd be delighted to. Perfect. The clock is chimed to midnight. I'm sorry, Prince, but I have to go. Oh, oh no, please don't go, but... 
Oh no, she's gone! And she left her slipper made of glass? I must find her, even if I have to go to every house of the village. Girls, the prince is coming to try on the shoe for every maiden in the village. If the shoe fits, he will marry her. You must fit the shoe. Go get ready. And Cinderella, you must leave and hide yourself. You cannot be seen. Oh no, I'm going to lose my chance with the prince. Okay, stepmother, I will go. Come on, girls, get ready. May I have the honor of trying the shoe on your foot to see if it fits? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, miss, but the shoe does not fit. No, it fits. Try harder. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, miss, but it really is too small. Aww. I'm sorry, but the shoe does not fit on you either. Are these the only maidens that live in the house? Uh, y yes, there's no one else here. Oh my goodness, I hear somebody else. Are you sure there's no other maidens? Well, there is, but she's just a servant girl. You wouldn't want her, it doesn't matter. No, I must try. Where is she? Cinderella! Uh, yes, stepmother? The prince. Hello. May I try this glass slipper on your foot? Yes, of course. Yes, the slipper fits. You are the lovely maiden from that night of the ball. Will you marry me? Yes, of course, Prince. I would love to marry you. What? what? And they lived happily ever after. Woo! After the success of our Beauty and the Beast school play, we are back with another. I am so excited to be holding auditions and I hope you have all come prepared. Okay, first audition. I want you to give me your best Aurora ever. Uh, what is she doing? Hmm, I, I don't know. I think she's sleeping. Okay, <laughs> we're good, thanks. Next! Next! Wake up! Oh, puppies! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Thank you! Same for you, honey. Huh? Same for me? You want me to sleep? I can't sleep. I've got to read 20 books in the next week. Sorry, I don't have time for this. No, wait, that's not what I meant! Oh, gosh. Oh, kids these days, so ambitious. Uh, uh. I'm here! I'm Ariel. Designed and made by myself. What do you think? Oh, sorry, honey. This is the Sleeping Beauty auditions. I don't think we have a role for Mermaid. What? I thought it was a Mermaid Fairy Princess Dancing Pony Rodeo! Aww! Uh, uh, I might be a while. Uh, uh. Hmm, I love the enthusiasm. Pity it's the wrong play. Listen up, guys. I'm the perfect princess. And now is my time to shine. I have super tiny feet, size four. Now, you don't find that every day. Perfect for a princess. Uh, next. Please, please, wake up. You're my true love. <gasps> oh, my gosh. You came to save me! <gasps> Perfect! Come on, Ani, you're gonna nail this audition. Just think of puppies wearing sunglasses. <laughs> that was so funny, Elsie. <gasps> I like where this is going. Next! Wait, what? But I haven't auditioned yet. Don't worry, honey, we've seen enough. What just happened? Think of it this way. Your only beautiful daughter, whom you've waited for your entire life, must be taken to the forest by the three fairy godmothers for her own safety. Give it to me now, Diana. <laughs> my only beautiful daughter. Will I ever see her again? Don't worry, my queen. <laughs> that got me kind of emotional. I agree. I love it. All right, last one up. My name is Aurora. I'm just a normal girl in a normal life, and I have three fishy godmothers. <laughs> I am so confused. You've merged, like, four different plays together. And I love it! We've got to do a fusion one next year. But not for this year. What an interesting end to our auditions. All right, everyone, we're going to post the cast list in one hour. You can have a break. Yay! Good job, guys. 
Okay, everyone, cast list is up. Oh my god, Aurora! Oh my god, Aurora! Oh my god, you're Elsie! I'm Aurora! I'm so happy! Oh my god, Aurora! Oh my god, you're yes! awesome! Our beautiful daughter, she is the fairest in all the land. Yes, she takes after me. I gift you beauty. I wish her joy. And when her 16th birthday falls, I will place a curse on her. Wow, they're really good at their lines. Really putting a lot of emotion into it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think we made the right decision when casting everyone. Huh, we always do. Oh, my Prince Eric. Oh, no, uh, Prince Kristoff. No. Hmm. Prince Charming? No. Oh, God, I can't remember. Prince Philip. That's a weird name. Okay. Hi, Prince Philip. Oh, my beautiful Aurora. You are the fairest girl in all the land. No, that's from Snow White. Oh, I don't know. You have nice hair? I can't remember any of her lines. Huh. Maybe we spoke too soon. Now, we're not gonna give up. We're gonna go over a script again, and when we're certain of all our lines, then we'll do a read through. Yeah, good idea, Aurora. <laughs> Prince Philip. And I gift you the. Oh, that is definitely not your color. Wait, what? Ow, Paul! You've gotta turn this way. Uh. Ow! Hey, sorry, Elsie. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't really dance much. Yeah, neither do I. The play is today. I'm not sure if we're ready yet. Yeah, and we've done no hair and makeup tests. Who's, Who's that? that? I am Moana of Montanui. I have boarded my boat, sailed across the sea, and come here to do your hair and makeup. This is my inspo for the play. I'm so happy to be doing this. What? Uh, do we have anybody else? An assistant hairdresser or makeup artist? No, we're on a tight budget this year. All right, who's up first? Uh, uh Chris! Bo! Bo! Ani? Hmm, Elsie, you're Aurora. Maybe you should go first. Yeah, um, sure. Hmm, I think it's missing something. done six more to go what did you do to my hair it's a disaster hmm I kind of like mine it's cool what you, you you don't like it oh no what are we going to do uh, maybe I can help Moana great idea you need to start right away we go on in four hours I'll get right to it I see your vision, Moana, but I think we need to lessen the bows, but I love your style. Let's get to it. Yeah. And a little bit here. And maybe just and here. There. And we're done. Wow, I feel like a queen. Thank you, guys. That's perfect. Now all we need is an audience. Now go on stage and slay. Pearl, something is off. We start in 40 minutes. People should be filling up the audience by now. Yeah, I know, it's so weird. Maybe just like... <gasps> My phone, I have to answer it. Hello? Oh, uh, Miss Vanessa, I'm so sorry, but I don't think any of us will make it. We are on a bus and the bus broke down. It says there'll be another two hours to fix. Ah! Oh, uh, now maybe three. What? Please tell everyone we're so sorry. Well, I guess if there's nothing you can do, nobody can come to the play. What? The bus broke down. Oh no, all that we've worked for, it's over. How are we gonna tell the kids? I don't know. <laughs> I wonder why they haven't called us out yet. It doesn't seem like anybody's here. It's 10 minutes before the play. We cannot let all the kids down. They've worked so hard. We have to make it to the play. If we run now, we might make it in time. That's a great idea. Yeah! 
All right, guys, myself and Vanessa, <laughs> I, you have to break it to them. I can't say it. Uh, have some very bad news. The guests coming to watch the show are stuck on a bus and it broke down. They can't get to the play. That's awful. What are we going to do? Huh? Who's that? We're here. Yes. Let's get this show on the road. Place with everybody. Everybody, please take your seats. Yes, they're here. Let's get ready. Welcome to our production of Sleeping Beauty. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> Good old joke to get the show started. <laughs> enjoy, everybody. <laughs> Once upon a time, the King Stefan and his wife, the Queen, had a beautiful baby called Aurora. There was joy all throughout the kingdom, and a birth ceremony was happening in celebration of her. Let's join them in the castle. I am so happy. Our baby is the most beautiful in all the land. Aurora is so special. We are the three magical fairies. Merryweather, Fauna, and Flora. We would like to bless Baby Aurora with gifts. I grant Baby Aurora grace. I grant Baby Aurora beauty. And I grant you... <laughs> How come you didn't invite me to Aurora's birth ceremony? Maleficent, you are not welcome here. What? I set a curse on Baby Aurora at her 16th birthday she will prick her finger on a spinning wheel and fall into a deep sleep forever. Mwahahaha! <gasps> no! Don't worry, I will help this. Baby Aurora must suffer this curse, but she can be awoken by an act of true love. I have ordered every spinning wheel in the kingdom to be burnt, but you must take Baby Aurora and keep her safe away from the evil Maleficent. Yes, we will do this. Oh no, what are we going to do? <laughs> we must take baby Aurora. Yes. La, 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 la. It's my 16th birthday today. I will pick some berries for my cake. Oh, how I wish for true love. Oh my goodness, you are the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Oh wow. What is your name? Oh my goodness, the nerves are kicking in. I'm so nervous. I, um, my name is, whoa! My name is Aurora. It was really nice to meet you, but I must leave. I hope to see you again. I will think of you every moment we are apart. Oh, she is the fairest maiden. Yeah! Everything was going so well. Aurora fell in love with Prince Philip and she was returning home for her 16th birthday. All the spinning wheels in the kingdom had been burnt. All except for one Maleficent spinning wheel. There is only one spinning wheel left and it's for Aurora only. I shall disguise myself as an old woman and lure her in. My plan is coming together. Please, child, help me up the my, to my tower. I am very old and fragile. Yes, of course. Let me help you. <sighs> A spinning wheel. I've never seen one before. Why don't you see what happens, child? Oh. <gasps> <gasps> oh no! Oh my goodness! After 16 years of keeping her safe, she breaks her finger! We must bring her to the tower and tell the king! Quickly! The three fairies put a spell on the tower where Aurora lay. Everyone in the tower is asleep. 
waiting for an act of true love to awake them all. <laughs> My daughter! No! <laughs> Pass me a tissue. Hello, my beautiful Aurora. Please wake up. I love you. Prince Philip, you came for me. Oh, Princess Aurora, you are awake. Let me tell the kingdom. I love you. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. Prince Philip and Aurora got married and the whole kingdom was full of joy. Maleficent disappeared, never to be seen again. And they all lived happily ever after. Woo! Bravo to our amazing young students. Congratulations, you were all incredible. I hope you enjoyed our beautiful Sleeping Beauty play. Woo! Woo! Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Beauty and the Beast auditions! Woo! Oh my god, I wonder where we're gonna be. Oh my god, it's so beautiful, oh my god. My name is Vanessa. I'm so excited that your school has invited me to direct and cast your school play. Now listen, kitties, this isn't gonna be your normal audition process. I'm from New York, and when in there, we like to spice things up a bit. So today is going to be full of fun. Let's start with the single auditions. Girls up first. Okay, Ariel Wright. Hmm. Listen, I'm going to give you some direction. Show me how you're going to save your papa from the Beast's house. Okay, Beast, listen. Just take my voice. I want to save my papa. Please let him go. Hmm, we could write that into the script. Next. Same interpretation for you. Here, papa. Rub my magic lamp, then the genie will come and we can fly right out of here. Hmm, well you might need to be double mic'd up. That was really quiet. Uh, next! Here, Papa, just take my really long hair. Now you can climb right out of here. Was it good? Hmm, what do you think, Pearl? Points for creativity. Next! <coughs> Bell, Bell, please help me, please. Bell. <coughs> I think I need some water. <laughs> hmm, I think I know who I'm gonna cast as the papa. Now this time, I want you to pretend like you're riding on horseback, running away from the vicious wolves. Faster, faster, the wolves are coming! And FYI, I only ride on reindeers. Do we have a reindeer prop? No, I don't think so. Okay, next! Oh, Belle! Yeah? Are you going for Belle? Obviously. Uh, no, I'm gonna audition for the Beast. My dad inspired me. Oh, cool! I'm a scary big beast. <sighs> hmm, I don't think a nice, sweet, quiet beast is in the script. But anyway, thanks for your audition. Next! Rah! You cannot go to the West Wing! Is that good? Do you like it? Wow, I love your accent there. Hmm, shortlist him. Hey, <laughs> Belle. I know I captured you and all and kept you in my house, but would you want to maybe go for dinner and then marry me? <laughs> I've got a really cool house, <laughs> talking furniture, <laughs> and a cool rose. <laughs> Who is he auditioning for again? Uh, the Beast? Hmm, I see inspiration for another character. Next! Ow! Oh, sorry! <laughs> Why would you have such long hair for the auditions anyway? Okay, I'm gonna split this. What do you want me to do? Okay, I want you to audition for Beast, and I want you to roar for me. How about that? What? What time is it? Oh no, I have a dentist appointment. I'm late. I gotta go. Okay, don't be late. Make sure you check the cast list. Let's try something new. Let's do a chemistry read. We're gonna need a male volunteer. Hmm, maybe Paul? Would you be up for that? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, so we have no running water, electricity, or heating in this house. Ah, that's okay. The cold never bothered me anyway. Oh, that's Elsa's daughter, right? I get it. Show me the dancing scene. I need to see how this looks on stage. <gasps> oh no! It's 12 o'clock! I can't be dancing with you! I need to go. 
Not again! What? Come back! I'm not following these kids! All right, everybody, I'm really proud of you all. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Now, we're gonna have a one hour lunch break, then come back in an hour and we're gonna... <gasps> the show is over! What? We have no dressmaker! Susie's going to Paris! Ah, these kids, they're everywhere. They can stop me from becoming my fashion designer of my dreams! I'm going to Paris! It's okay, we can do it next time. There'll be loads of shows we can cast. Um, miss, um, I actually, I, I love making dresses and I made this dress. And if you'd be okay with it, I can make the dresses for the, for the, for the Beauty and the Beast. <gasps> yes, that's perfect. I love your dress. It's very beautiful. Okay guys, this show is back on the road. <gasps> Thank you to Jasmine, our official dressmaker. Now come back in an hour and cast will be posted. I need to get my measuring tape. And the cast list is as follows. <whistles> Belle, Elsie. The Beast, Timmy. Gaston, Paul. Cogsworth, Chris. Lumiere, Ariel. Mrs. Potts, Ani. Maurice, Diana. Chip, Belle. The Village Girls, Cinderella and Rapunzel. Congratulations to everyone! Now let's get to work. So Elsie, I actually don't need any of your measurements because all your dresses are already done. It's mainly just the village boys and Mrs. Potts and Chip I need to worry about. I'm so excited to try on the iconic yellow dress! This is my moment, Jasmine! Oh, no peeking, no peeking! Go, learn your lines! Yeah! Snip, snip, snip! I need a lot of triangles. This will be perfect! It's finished! Next one! I really like making props, it's so fun. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love this! The rose is finally finished! It looks so good! Okay everyone, it's been a tough couple of weeks, but we made it. I'm so proud of you. Now go home, get a good night's sleep, and tomorrow we have our play! Woo! Hello everybody, parents and members of our esteemed community. Please, I would like to welcome you to our school play, Beauty and the Beast. Take it away, guys! I'm just collecting my books from the bookstore. I've read them all about six times. I've got to read the same ones again. I better get back to my papa. Hey, Belle, forget about those books. You should just marry me. I'm all you'll ever need. Oh, Gaston! <laughs> I wish he would marry me. He's so gorgeous. Sorry, Gaston, but I have to leave. Goodbye. I will make her marry me. Papa, are you going somewhere? <coughs> Sorry, Belle. I have to go sell my inventions. I will be back soon. Okay, Papa, be careful. And bring me a rose from your trip. Okay, Belle, I will. I love you. Goodbye. Bye, Papa. I'm lost! I'm lost! Hurrah! Ah! <gasps> you are in my house. I am taking you prisoner. No, please, no! I will keep you here as my prisoner. You cannot go. But please, I have a daughter at home. I need to go home. No, you are my prisoner. Stay here. Where is my papa? Where is my pa papa? Are you all right? Who did this to you? Belle, you have to save yourself. There's a big beast. Go, I'll be fine. No, papa, I'm not leaving without you. Ah! What are you doing here? This is my papa! You have to let him go! No! Okay, take me instead! I will be your prisoner! Fine! You're free to go, old man! You will be my prisoner! You must stay here forever! Okay! <laughs> be safe, papa! Be safe! No, boo! What have you done? You are free to roam the castle, but you must not go to the West Wing. What's in the West It's forbidden! I'm so lonely here. 
What will I do? Don't worry, dear. It'll be all right. A talking teapot? What? Well, there's nothing better than a pot of tea when you're lonely and sad. I guess so. Here, Chip, come here. I'm gonna help you. Don't worry, you won't be sad anymore. <gasps> a talking teacup. What is this special house? We, we can, can be your friends. friends. Thank you. It's nice to have company, but I'm so intrigued by the West Wing. What could possibly be in there? A rose! What could this mean? I told you not to come in here! Leave! I'm sorry! I didn't know I thought- No! Leave now! Oh no! <laughs> what she could have done! It could have ruined everything for me! <laughs> I don't know how I will live in this place for the rest of my life! <laughs> we have to talk to the beast! Yes, it is very important for his life that he makes the last petal fall so that he falls in love so that he can turn back to a human again. He must fall in love with her. Look, he's coming. We must be calm and speak to him. A beast, we have to talk to you. About what? Belle. Belle. What about her? You need to impress her with her wit. But be very gentle. Shower her with compliments. Uh, but be sincere. And most importantly, don't, don't scare, scare her off. off. Invite her for a ball and then dinner. Okay, I will try. Hello. Thank you for joining me. Oh, you're welcome. You look nice. Oh, thank you. Shall we dance? I guess so. Look, dear. Yeah? They're falling in love. We might be real humans again. What's love? I'll tell you about it another time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for a lovely evening. You're welcome, Beast. He's not so bad after all. <gasps> you are a very good person. I'm sorry. I let you go. <gasps> Thank you, Beast. Now I can be re reunited with my father. Thank you! Well, your highness, everything is going swimmingly and brilliant! I let her go. Yes, yes, the- What? Why? Why would you do that? Because I love her. Aww. Papa! Papa! Oh, oh, Belle! It's so good to see you! How did you escape from the beast? The beast? So this is the beast you speak of, Maurice. No, he's not a beast! He's a very kind person. Men, we must go find the beast. No! You're the beast. Belle is mine. No! Oh! Ah! Come with me, Belle. He's a monster. No, Gaston. You're the monster. Beast! Beast! Are you okay? It's okay, Belle. Maybe it was supposed to end this way. I love you! Aww. Beast, you're alive! You're okay! I love you, Belle. I love you, too. Who are all these people? I am a prince, and these were my staff. We were enchanted long ago, and they turned to furniture. Now they are human again. It's so lovely to be with you all! No problem, dear. We are so happy! And they lived happily ever after! The, the end! end. <gasps> Bravo! Magnificent! You were all wonderful! A round of applause for our actors! I'm so excited for the Peter Pan play this year! It's gonna be so fun! I guess. What's wrong, Lonnie? I don't know. I've always got either a side character or an evil villain in all these plays. I want to be the main character. Don't worry, Annie. You will be. Just believe in yourself. Oh, I guess so. Come on, we're lining up for auditions. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. There's no point anyways. 
Hello everybody and welcome back to another year of our wonderful school play. We are so excited to be doing Peter Pan this year, so let's start on with auditions. Let's get Elsie up first. So, brothers, before we go to bed, I am going to uh, read a book or watch a movie or do some arts and crafts. I can't remember. Uh, we're going to read a book, and there's lots of cool pirates, and it's so, so fun. <laughs> nice, Elsie. I enjoyed that. But instead, can you do it a bit more where lovely Wendy is trying to have her brothers fall asleep and not be so confused? Do you get me? Oh, yeah. Again. Uh, sure. Um, I don't know how to say this. Uh, oh, dear brothers. Today, we're gonna read a nice bedtime story. <laughs> Was that better? Okay, next. Hey, hey, yeah, I'm flying. Oh, hi, Chrissy Boo. You're gonna do so well. Make sure to do everything like me practiced. I'll pop it in the air. And here's some hard type sandwiches that I packed you. You're gonna be wonderful. Mwah. Mom, please, you're embarrassing me. Chrissy Boo, I'm not embarrassing you. Now take your sandwiches. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh, Mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's going on? We're right in the middle of audition, Chris. I think it was his mom bringing him lunch. Aw, how sweet. Maybe we could write that in. At least she packed my favorite. And then Peter Pan had to face Captain Hook. And then... Huh? Why'd she stop talking? What is she doing? I think it's a dramatic pause. Yeah, well, she could ease off on the dramatic. All right, Cinderella. <laughs> We're good here. Thank you. But I haven't finished my script. It's okay. Ten minutes have already gone by. Next. And right foot. And left foot. To the left. To the right. And finished. Hey, what did you think? Well, we could always put in a dance break if you wanted to. Hmm, nice idea. We'll see. Next! I nailed it! Okay, ready or not, why is Peter Pan always flying? Huh? Because he never lands! <laughs> so funny! Never lands? I don't really get that, do you? Uh, I don't get it either. Oh! Neverlands! I get it! <laughs> nice one, Paul. I didn't see that coming. Next! Oh, sorry! Sorry! Sorry I'm late. I was doing too much reading. This book is so good, by the way. Okay! Well, we don't have a lot of time, so we're gonna need to move on to the next person. Next! Wait, what? Uh, I'll just do some more reading. And then the will You... Wendy... Oh no, I forgot my lines. I can only think of Captain Hooks. Ah, ah. Get back here, Peter Pan. I'm gonna catch you this time. I will. <gasps> That's so good. Yes, he was brilliant. So expressive. All right, brilliant, Timmy. Well done, well done, well done. Oh, thanks, Mike, but I really don't want to play him. Then why would he audition for him? Kids. Whenever you're ready, Diana, take it away. Okay. Um. Would you prefer polka dot or striped? I can't choose. Um, uh, you didn't even answer. I think it's polka dot. Uh, okay. Oh no, where is it? Uh, I wonder where my script is. Huh, she seems to be pretty lost. I like the way you're thinking, Pearl. Okay, Diana, we're done. Okay, and last one up. Ani, yes, Ani. Oh, here it is. Huh? I'm here to audition for Wendy. Huh? Sorry, what's that? You know what? I can do it. I'm gonna tell the best story ever. Okay, let's go to bed. But before, let me tell you a bedtime story. There was once this beautiful girl, the most beautiful in all the land, and a fellow prince loved her, and soon they got married and they lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> that was beautiful, so good. Yeah, I'm even tearing up a little bit. Well done, Ani. Well done. All right, everybody, we're going to post the cast list in one hour, and then you can all come back and we'll start rehearsals. 
I bet I got Tinkerbell or Wendy. I'm sure they had such a hard time choosing between me. They probably wanted to give the whole entire show to me. I nailed my dancing. I cannot wait to play Peter Pan. I'm gonna be awesome. Oh yay, good luck, Chris. It's gonna be super cool. I think I'm gonna get paid to pay as well. I love that role. I'm sure you'll get a lost boy or something. All right, everybody, the cast list is pinned up. Now you know the drill. Let's get props and scripts ready, and Jasmine is our lovely costume designer. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, woo, I wanna see. Hey, push over, push over. A lost boy, you've gotta be joking me. <gasps> a lost boy, I'm so excited. Oh, I got Michael, the brother. I'm so happy with that. To the left, to the right. We wanna see you fight. Captain Hook, yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, Elsie, what did you get? I got Tinkerbell, Ani! Wait, that means I'm Wendy! Congratulations, Ani! You're awesome! Oh, I am so happy I still auditioned. I'm gonna have to start learning my lines. I better get my script. Where's my hook? Now, kids, you can fly away. My Tinkerbell voice is becoming so good! Okay, here, Ani. Would you mind putting these on the table for me? These outfits are all finished. Perfect, Jasmine. They look amazing. You're becoming better than Susie. Oh, thank you, Ani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, dribble, dribble, and score. Perfect goal. I think I might as well just be Ronaldo or Messi. Am I the goat? I can't believe it. I'm Wendy. I get my own script. I've never gotten that before. This is just amazing. Dress rehearsal? Oh, I better go try them on. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our school's version of Peter Pan. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Woo! Okay, brothers, now before we go to bed, Let's read a bedtime story about Peter Pan. Peter Pan was a brave little boy, and one day he had to fight one of the greatest villains of all time, Captain Hook. Captain Hook was winning until Peter Pan fought back and won the battle. The end. Already asleep? I better get to bed as well. telling stories. We could use somebody in Neverland like you. Neverland? You gotta come to the best place on Earth. Come on. But how will we get there? We're gonna fly, of course. But I cannot fly. Well, that's where Tinkerbell comes in. Work your magic. Bippity boppity boo. I can fly. <laughs> Me too. Now, Wendy, tell your beautiful stories to the Lost Boys. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a boy. I am here, Captain Hook, and I will take all of you as my prisoners. Arr, yeah, he's right. We're going to take you all. <gasps> no, please, don't take us. Don't do this. I don't have a choice, sweetheart. You're coming with me. <gasps> Evil Captain Hook took them all on his ship. Only Tinkerbell escaped. Ha ha, I have captured you all. Finally, I am victorious. You will pay for all the trouble you caused me. Alrighty, sir, what are we going to do with them? Oh, I can't move. Oh. I can't move. Oh. Don't worry. You won't be doing anything, Captain Hook. Yeah. Yeah, finally, I am free and I will defeat you. Captain Hook, you will not capture us. I challenge you to a sword fight. Well, I will win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rah! Okay, everybody, we are free. We're free. Thank you for freeing us, Peter Pan. You're so brave. Wendy and her brothers returned to their home, whilst Peter Pan and the Lost Boys stayed in Neverland, never to be bothered by Captain Hook again. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Woo! I could be Snow White. I'm so excited for this year's play. It's gonna be awesome. But where's the director, Vanessa? It's 
if I don't have enough to do. I have all the dresses to sew, seven dwarf costumes to make, and I have to make the props. And now direct the play as well. Who do they think I am? Direct? Anyway, we better get started. I have so many more things to do. Uh, line up, children, I think. Yo, this is gonna be fun. I don't think so, Chris. Oh, sweet Snow White. She of hair so dark, eyes so beautiful. Oh, she is my true love. <sighs> oh, you've already started. Um, what are you doing? Huh, I don't know if that's gonna work. Maybe do 10 push ups. Push ups? No problem. Huh, this is right up my alley. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Up, uh, up, uh, you can stop now. Next! I hope I don't have to do push ups. <gasps> You're dwarfs? What's your name? Grumpy. Are you grumpy all the time? <laughs> Dwarves this, dwarves that. More importantly, you must tell me, how do you stitch a cashmere sweater? Stitching? Cashmere sweater? Ha! Trick question! You can't stitch a cashmere sweater. Next! Please do five burpees and then tell me the difference between magenta and lilac. What? A one, two, three, four, five! Uh, I don't know. Magenta? Lilac? I think they're all the same color. <gasps> That's just a crime. Next. I'm going to do a magic trick. Bippity boppity, bippity boo. Turn this pumpkin into a carriage for two. What do you think? How are we even going to get that off the stage? I really do not have time for this. I must think of an easier, more creative way to pick the rolls. Oh, I know. My trusty spinning wheel. Okay, everybody, here's how it's gonna work. So this is the way we're gonna pick the rolls. I'm gonna say a roll, and whoever's name comes up in the spinning wheel, you get the roll. Let's do Snow White first. What? Jake, sounds perfect. Okay, on to Prince Charming. That can't be right. But I want to be the knight. Uh, it'll be fine. Okay, now on to Prince Charming. Diana it is. Who else do we even have in this play? <gasps> yes, Evil Queen. I don't want to be Prince Charming. I know I have lovely luscious locks, but that's besides the point. Jasmine for the Evil Queen. Who, me? Huntsman, Ani. Magic Mirror, Paul. And the seven dwarves are Chris. Ariel, Moana, Elsie, Rapunzel, Cinderella, and Timmy. This isn't fair. Oh, I wanted to audition properly. How am I going to get the right rules? Okay, everybody, get to work, and I'm going to go do my real work. Get to work with what? We rips, no lines. What about makeup and hair? If we're not doing anything proper, I'm going to catch a quick power nap. <sighs> I'm the evil queen. I thought I was the evil queen. Huh, I thought I was Snow White. What? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the strongest knight of them all? Jake? Chris? Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> Plants need a new color. They've been in too many plays. What about Kelly Blue? This play is a disaster! It is havoc here! There's no structure, nobody knows their lines, nobody's got costumes, nobody's got even like the correct roles! What are we gonna do? And where are the scripts? We need a new director. We should at least go over some choreography, or, or maybe run the scenes, or talk about the story and the dialogue. We need to do something! That's a good idea. Let's get everybody together. Okay! Thinking maybe a baby blue fabric. <gasps> this is perfect. Hey! Now we just need to work together. Maybe we could do our own hair and makeup. Maybe write our own script. Um, guys, this just isn't working for me. I'm gonna go home. What? We're losing people now? Yeah, I don't think I can do this play. This is a disaster. The play is tomorrow. 
What are we gonna do? I guess we're just gonna have to call off the play. Stop right there, everybody! I'm back, and this play is going ahead, whether we like it or not. Okay, everybody. Chris, you're on getting the scripts. Elsie, I want you to round up all the players. I've already got the cast list. Here it is. Snow White, Elsie. Prince Florian, Paul. Evil Queen, Cinderella. Huntsman, Chris. Magic Mirror, Ani, and the Seven Dwarves are Jasmine, Belle, Timmy, Moana, Diana, Chelsea, and Rapunzel. Now let's get the show on the road. Woo! Woo! Yeah! I came back as soon as I was feeling better. I also rang Susie, and I knew that she couldn't do it all by herself, so we're here to save the day. Ah, oh, finally some help around here. I didn't have enough time to make all the Seven Dwarf costumes. All right, don't worry. We can have a solution for that. Instead of acting, we'll just... Do some voice acting from the wings. It'll all look great. Hmm, that's a great idea. I love school plays. I don't know what you guys were so worried about. Huh? Never mind. Get to work, guys. Come on, chop chop. Okay, okay guys, girls, let's go grab stuff. Should we still paint those leaves, Kelly Blue? Okay, guys, go get dressed. The audience is coming. Let's go get ready. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ow! I just gotta fit in there. <laughs> Ow! Hello, and welcome to our school play, Snow White. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And if you need to visit the bathroom in the intervals, don't speak to the mirrors, they just tell you lies. <laughs> <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Snow White is the fairest of them all. No! I have to do something about this. Huntsman, you must help me get rid of Snow White. Yes, I will. Where are you taking me? And why? And when? No questions. You must come with me. Queen's orders. Oh, no. Don't no, go! No. Oh, no. I'm all alone in this dark, scary forest. What am I to do? I see a cabin light. Let me go find it. It was so messy in this house. I had to clean it up. And this food tasted delicious. I'm so tired. I think I will go to bed. We're, We're home, home from a good days of work. <gasps> What's this? Somebody ate our food. And somebody slept in our bed. And the house hasn't been this clean in 10 years. Oh goodness, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize anybody was living here. It was me who cleaned up and slept in the bed. I'm sorry. It's okay. What's your name? My name is Snow White, and I need a place to stay. I can clean and cook for you. I don't think there's any reason why not. Thank you. We can be friends. Yay! Yay! Finally, I must be the fairest of them all since Snow White is now gone. <gasps> Let me ask the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Snow White is the fairest of them all. What? But I got rid of her! I have to do everything myself! Show me where Snow White is. Snow White is in the dwarf's cabin. <gasps> Perfect. He he he. La 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 la. My dear child, you look hungry. Would you like this apple? Wow. It does look delicious. Yes. Thank you, old lady. Ha 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 ha! Now I am the fairest of them all. No! no! Oh no, our dearest friend. We must bring her back to the house as soon as possible. <laughs> she was so fantastic. She cleaned the house very well. She was so kind. <laughs> what is this? The fairest maiden in all the land has fallen asleep. I must awaken her. Please, miss. Please wake up. I love you. Oh, dear prince, you saved my life. You are the most beautiful, fairest maiden in all the land. Will you marry me? Yes, of course. Aww. You, you saved, saved Snow White. And, and they, they lived happily ever after. Now, finally, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? 
Snow White is the fairest of them all. No! The end. Thank you so much, everybody. Can we please have a round of applause for our fantastic actors? Woo! Hope you enjoyed guys! Don't forget to watch our other fun videos!